That's right, Antoinette. Testimony is actually going on in court right now behind me as the jury hears evidence on the fate of Matthew Borges. I think of killing someone and I smirk. I like the sound of it. The idea of causing pain on someone who's getting in my way or causing me pain. That's a text message from Matthew Borges to his girlfriend. What the Essex County prosecutor says show that Borges planned and carried out the atrocious beheading of his Lawrence High School classmate Lee Manuel Valoria Paulino back in November 2016. This is the defendant when he was just 15 years old, two and a half years ago when he was charged with first degree murder. Here he is today, hair cut short and a shirt and tie, listening to both the prosecution and his defense no, attorney. There is no murder weapon. There is no tools to dismember a body. There are no fingerprints, there is no blood, there is no DNA, and there is no motive. Prosecutors say there was a motive, jealousy. They say Borges suspected that his girlfriend was cheating on him with Valoria Paulino and became so enraged that he stabbed him to death on the banks of the Merrimack River, cutting off his head and his hands. A so-called kill note found in a dresser at Matthew Borges's home, a journal with instructions. Kill him, bring duffel bag, wear gloves, clean up mess, wear bags on shoes, wear clothes you don't care about. And Borges' attorney questioning the reliability of that note, basically saying, why would he write it in the third person? Why did he even have to write himself instructions on what to do, that it fails to mention Lee, fails to mention going to the river, and ultimately undercuts its credibility?